change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we seek. Focusing your life solely on making a buck shows a certain poverty of ambition. It asks too little of yourself. Because it's only when you hitch your wagon to something larger than yourself that you realize your true potential. We, the people, recognize that we have responsibilities as well as rights, that our destinies are bound together, that a freedom which only asks what's in it for me, a freedom without a commitment to others, a freedom without love or charity or duty or patriotism, is unworthy of our founding ideals, and those who died in their defense. There is not a liberal America and a conservative America, there is the United States of America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America, there's the United States of America. Now, as a nation, we don't promise equal outcomes, but we were founded on the idea everybody should have an equal opportunity to succeed. No matter who you are, what you look like, where you come from, you can make it. That's an essential promise of America. Where you start should not determine where you end up. I believe marriage is between a man and a woman. I am not in favor of gay marriage. But when you start playing around with constitutions, just to prohibit somebody who cares about another person, it just seems to me that's not what America is about. Usually, our constitutions expand liberties, they don't contract them. years old. I am going to teach them first of all about values and morals. But if they make a mistake, I don't want them punished with a baby. We can't drive our SUVs and eat as much as we want and keep our homes on 72 degrees at all times, and then just expect that other countries are going to say okay. That's not leadership. That's not going to happen. It's not surprising, then, 